It has, uh, can you believe it's 2018, December already? This year has flown by. Um, I don't know how we got here. I guess we had to get through the other 11 months in order to get here, but it is only by the grace of God that we have made it this far. I remember us having this conversation last year, and here we are again. There are a couple of things that um, I, I want us to be mindful of this year. So uh, if you have a paper and a pen, you need to take them out so you can jot some things down and take them home with you. I think if you take it home and you put it on the refrigerator, you, if you're like me, you go to your refrigerator a hundred times a day. So you will see it. Those of you that are tech savvy, just pull out your phone like Brother Carl just did and type it in your notes. You will have it for you. Uh, this coming year, uh, 2019, God has some things planned for new life, and I need your help. Um, some of you uh, that were in Bible study understand that the Bible tells us that we are all ministers of the gospel. Isn't that right? Uh, we all have that ministry. He's given us a ministry. Anybody remember what the ministry is that he's given us? Ministry of? Say it again. Reconciliation. Amen. I knew they would know. Ministry of reconciliation. So we are about reconciling people to God, not reconciling people to you, but getting people closer to God. Um, how many of you have a wonderful experience when you come to New Life? I show of hands. All right, so you enjoy the ministry of New Life, and you obviously support uh, financially the ministry of New Life, and we appreciate you for that. Uh, wouldn't you like for somebody else to experience what you experience every week? Uh, how many of you have some family members that could benefit from being a member of New Life? Right? Uh, they could benefit from the music. Uh, they might be able to benefit from the word. Uh, they'd be able to benefit just sitting next to you. Isn't that right? Wouldn't it be wonderful to leave here with some of your family members and just talk about what you heard at church all day long? That would be great. Um, so here is, here is what God wants us to do for this year. Uh, my challenge to you, my challenge to you, my encouragement to you is uh, there should be three people, three people, jot that down, you need that number, there should be three people that will become members of New Life in 2019 because of your ministry. That's not a lot, is that a lot? Three people that will either give their life to Christ or if they've already given their life to Christ will decide to be members of New Life because of your ministry. Here's why I say that. Uh, I, 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 I try to stay busy for New Life. Uh, I am doing New Life 24 seven. Uh, I breathe it, I eat it, I sleep it. And so I, I need your help. I can't do it all as, as much as I'd like to. I need your help. And in order for us to minister, uh, we've been talking about for two and a half years now about being an evangelizing church. Isn't that right? Uh, and we go out and evangelize uh, to other people so that we can get them closer to Christ. So it's not about new life. Um, it's about taking somebody to heaven when you go. Isn't that right? You want somebody uh, to say that the only reason they made it was because you ministered to them. And I know that it would be great. So I'm looking at your faces, those of you that are here today. How many of you believe that there's at least three people that would become members of New Life in 2019 because of your ministry? I don't see the deacons or deaconess raising their hands. What's going on? Are they, I'm like, she may not sleep. They not sleep. Amen. Sister Moon, you ain't raised your hand yet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Anything dead ought to be buried. Y'all know how I am. If you, yeah. Hallelujah. We got up. You got up and got dressed. Some of y'all. Not everybody, but one or two of y'all took a shower and came all the way out. You ought to act like you love Jesus. Isn't that right? You didn't come all this way. I didn't come to look at you now. I came to lift up the name of Jesus because you didn't wake me up this morning. You didn't do nothing. I love you, but you didn't do nothing for me this morning. It was me and Jesus alone that got me here. So uh, I just I just wanted to make sure I'm in the right place. So at least three people. So I'm holding you responsible. You are responsible for three souls in 2019. Amen. All right, now, for those of you that are not yet members of New Life, you need to get you first, but you don't count. Get you first, and then you're still responsible for three others. All right? All right. Uh, an encouraging word that God has given us, uh, the book of Job. Jot that down. Job, J-O-B. If you're from the country, you pronounce it Job. But it's Job, chapter 1. And I believe right about verse number 10. Uh, and many of us know the story, but God said uh, when, when Job, when the angels came, uh, to stand around God or to talk to God. Uh, the Bible says that Satan also showed up. And Satan was one of those. He's one of those revolutions that you never sent for that evil. Uh, but he always shows up. And so he showed up. Nobody sent for him. He just showed up in the midst of it. Isn't that right, Deacon Boone? I know you read it. Uh, 
he just showed up in the midst and, and, and God said, what, what are you doing? Where did you come from? And he said, I, I've been walking to and fro, just trying to look at some things and, and figure, see, see who I can get. Isn't that what he said? And then uh, before uh, they went any further, God said, have you considered my servant, Job? Now watch what happens next. When you go to Job 1 and look at this, you'll see. What happens next is that uh, uh, the devil gives a dissertation about Job and his life. God didn't give it to him. Here's what the enemy said. He said, Job, you mean that one that you've been protecting, that one that you have a hedge of protection around, the one that you blessed with all those children? Listen to Satan. The one that you gave all that cattle to, the one that's wealthy, the one that loves you more than life itself. This is what Satan said. He said, oh, no. I'm not fooling with Job. He loves you too much. That's what he said about Job. That's what the enemy said about Job. God didn't tell him that. He said that about Job himself. And so here's what you need to know. This is encouraging for us. I hope it blesses you. The only way for the enemy to know that there was a hedge of protection around Job is that he had to come for him before that day. Don't miss it. That was your first shot that you missed it already. The only way for him to know there was a hedge of protection is he had to try to get to Job. He, he had tried. Say it to your neighbor. Say, oh, he tried it. Yeah, yeah, he tried it. He tried it, but he, he came for it. He came for Job long before that day. So here it is. The only way for him to know, he said, you mean Job? The one you got a hedge of protection around? The one I can't touch? The one I can't do nothing with? The only way for the enemy to know that is he already came for Job. He tried it. He tried it and he couldn't get to him. So let me encourage you. There were some things that the enemy came for you in 2018. There it is. That's your first excitement. He can say, say, enemy, you tried it. You tried. He came for you in 2018. But here is the shout. There's a whole bunch of stuff that came for you in 2018 that you never know anything about. There was an accident you ain't never got to go through. There, there was some heartache and pain you ain't gonna you ain't gonna never experience that disappointment. You know why? Because all of 2018, God has had a hedge of protection around. You know that stuff that you did go through? God allowed it, but it's already December. You can wait it out by now. That, that, that's that accident that was meant to kill you. It did kill you already. There was a hedge of protection. I know you didn't know that, but there was a hedge of protection around you all of 2018. You know how I know? Because the enemy knows. He said, oh, you mean that Sherry? That one that's always hollering and screaming when she gets a church. You mean that? Nah, I ain't, ain't going to fool with her. I, I'm going to catch her on another. You, you mean that that angel that's trying to build her business and she's running run around the country telling everybody that she loves you? You mean her? Nah, I ain't going to fool with her. I'm going to move on and do something else. You need to know and thank God today because you might not make it to tomorrow. Thank you, God, for that hand of all of 2000 in January. There was a hand of protection around you. February, there was a hedge of protection in March, April, May, June, July, all through 2018, there's been a hedge of protection around you. And the enemy was saying, oh, you mean that child? I ain't been to fool with her. You you got a hedge of protection around her. You you trying to keep her from, uh, mom and them used to say, you trying to keep her from all hurt, harm, and danger. So, so I'm not going to fool with her. So I know we went through some stuff in 2018, right? And you can fill out your resume with all the stuff that you went through in 2018. But I don't want us to get excited about that. I want us to get excited about what's not on your resume. There it is, you got to get excited about the stuff that didn't happen. Yeah, when you went under the knife, you should have died. That's what the enemy wanted, but it didn't happen. When you lost your loved one, you should have also lost your mind, but God said not so. When you got lost in the wilderness, uh, you should have still been lost in the wilderness, but God not so, because there was a hedge of protection around you all this while. The enemy came and he said, he ran it out. He said, you mean that Job? Now, I'm not been the fool with Job because you, you love him too much. You protected him too much. You got a hedge of protection around that Job. He said, but I, I guarantee you that if you remove the hedge of protection, I'll get to Job. The Bible says that he came for Job and he did everything that he could. But the Bible says, though he slain, there it is. Somebody made the same Bible. Don't be slain. Yet, will I trust him? Come on. Thank God for the hand of protection around your offices are coming in.